no doubt that this is the biggest featherweight matchup ever. By an amazing turn of events, all those injured, he has to pull out. His coach called and said that Aldo's rib is too painful and he will not be fighting. So Chad Mendez now will fight Conor McGregor for the interim belt. Big shots by McGregor. <laughs> oh, he's out. Could he finish him here? Conor McGregor wow. is the UFC wow. interim featherweight champion. If Conor can do to him what he's been doing to everyone else, the Aldo fight will be beyond imagination. In my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come. Primeiro, ele ficou surpreso quando me viu. Ainda mais a cada dia que passa que eu vejo que é um palhaço. Estarei, vou chegar. Vou calar a boca dele no dia 12 de dezembro. I can't wait for this fight. As it stands right now, I am the pound for pound number one. Conor McGregor burst onto the scene, boasting that he was going to knock people out in the first round. He was going to do this, he was going to do that, and he's done everything he said he would do. Conor McGregor, another first round win! Wow! I've demolished every single person they put in front of me. I will demolish Aldo as well. The style that Conor has, how hard he hits, the way he moves forward, this fight is going to be a war, a slugfest. It's going to bring the absolute best out of Jose Aldo. Look at this, look at this, he's going to Jose Aldo. He's in front of Jose Aldo screaming at him, and Jose Aldo is smiling. Tentou provocar ali, mas eu achei a cena tudo engraçado é, de tudo aquilo que ele fez né, naquela noite. Uh, vai morrer! Ele fala demais porque ele é assim, é o jeito que ele procura se promover, é o jeito que ele procura se vender. I don't think anybody's ever gone at Aldo the way that Connor has. Connor knew that Aldo did not want to be touched, and all Connor wanted to do was touch him. I'm so gonna get this up. I touch him and I took the belt. This next one, I'm gonna touch him a lot harder and take my belt. There's never been a featherweight fight ever that has generated this kind of attention. And make no mistake about it, that attention is because of Conor McGregor. Ele nunca lutou com alguém como eu. Ele nunca lutou contra o campeão. Jose Aldo remains the UFC featherweight champion. There has been one UFC featherweight champion ever. That is Jose Aldo. And he has beaten every man they put in front of him for the last decade. And without a doubt, will be the very best fighter that Conor McGregor has ever faced. Oh! Another level of fighting. He utilizes spectacular leg kicks, world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu, ridiculous power and speed. He it. Jose Aldo's about as good as it gets stylistically. The guy's amazing. And yet, Conor McGregor is the betting favorite coming into this fight. You've got nothing to say face to face. Give me that. I never let anyone enter my head, so it's not Conor who's going to come now. I'm going to be laughing. I'm going to pay until here. You look like a little friend. McGregor is pushing Jose Aldo into a corner. And when you push a great fighter like Aldo into a corner, you find out what that great fighter is capable of. Looking for the finish. I anticipate a Jose Aldo who is at the top of his game. And we're gonna find out whether or not Conor McGregor can deal with that Jose Aldo. Because that's the Jose Aldo that he summoned. He got stopped. There's the power he of Jose Aldo. <laughs> He will try and get in close and I will be running straight forward for him, so he will feel the power early and it will be a formality after that. That's it. Here it is! Yeah. Yeah. Isso não tem dúvida. Todo mundo vai ficar chocado quando ganhar. And right off the bat, it is over! Ele pode fazer o que for, eu acho que isso faz parte. Que ele vai continuar no lugar dele, que eu sou o rei, como eu falei. E ele vai continuar sendo bobo sempre. This is no joke. I'm gonna come sprinting out the gate. I'm gonna hit him with every shot in the book, and I'm gonna stiffen him up. Eu tô focado, eu tô muito, 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 muito empolgado com essa luta. Pode ter certeza que eu vou chegar lá e vou passar por cima dele uma carreta de governado.
fucking regrets. Everyone has a breaking point. It's just whose threshold is higher. How hard can you push yourself? How early do you work? How late do you work? On the first and on the last. I don't leave anything on the table. No one fucking works harder. Chris Wyman, you think you're gonna break me? You gotta be joking. Let's go. All five rounds. I'll keep a pace you've never felt. I think Rockhold's the first guy to really um, continuously call me out. I'm the best around. I did my part. Weidman, you go do your part. We want to take this across the way. At the end of the day, I don't know if he believes the stuff that's coming out of his mouth, but if he does believe it, I can't wait to see that look of complete surprise. I want to see that look of break and of, I can't believe I was wrong. The champion. Chris Weidman, he has taken down every opponent. Absolutely, I mean, as gritty and as in your face as it gets, and big for a middleweight. The only guy who's as big as him is Luke Rockhold. These guys both respect each other a ton, but they can't wait to get their hands on each other because neither one of them want anyone to be considered their equal. You can feel that Weidman hates that people believe that Luke Rockhold's a guy that can compete on his level. There's gonna be always people that think that this guy could beat me, but there seems to be a lot more people right now that think Luke could beat me, and it's gonna be huge for me once I beat them. Uh, I think it really silences even more doubters than I already have. And you can see how much Luke hates that people think that Chris Weidman is just head and shoulders above everybody in the division. I think Weidman is a product of good timing. I think he's fought a bunch of old, deflated Brazilians. There's a new generation, and it's time to bring him up to date. Oh, and a head kick. Bisping's down. Oh, and that could be it. This could be the finish. Luke Rocco oh, wow. with a one-off mountain guillotine. Chokes out Michael Bisping. Whoa. He has a chance, just like anybody has a chance when they're going to the Octagon. The chance is so, so, so small. It's really down to 0%. Weidman with some serious ground and pound. Vitor's in deep, deep trouble. Big elbow. Uh oh. Herb Dean's going to stop it. It is all over. The All American, Chris Weidman, defeats Vitor Belfau. Stop doubting me. You better join the team now. This is my last invitation. Weidman and Luke are by far the best middleweights in the world, and I think on December 12th, man, it's gonna be the best middleweight championship fight that we've seen in a long time. Judgment day! You know, we're both out there trying to crush each other's dreams and take what we've worked for our whole lives. When you work as hard as you can every day, you have the mentality that no one deserves to beat you. Oh! Look at the finish it! He has done it! Weidman's toughness and his wrestling has got him by, but it can only last you so long until you run into a guy that can wrestle with you and can do everything else. be a smarter guy and doesn't matter how good of a wrestler how good of a jiu-jitsu guy how good of a striker he is if you're being outsmarted it does not matter i see a slow sloppy flat-footed individual that i'm going to go out there and i'm going to dance around and i'm going to run away with this fight in the second and third round i don't see him standing after the third i want people to remember these words coming out of his mouth because when i shove it down his mouth on december 12th he's going to look really stupid just keep your mouth shut go out there like an athlete and try to beat me it's never about being second Everything I do, it's about being the best. It's about being a world champion. I lived up to that once, and I'm about to live up to it again. I cannot imagine me standing there with my head down and him with his hand raised, and I can't live my life like that. It's warfare now. Oh, my God! Oh, what? 